It is safe to say that the world today is nothing like the one we lived in 20 years ago. And human beings are manipulating their environment to the extent that was only dreamed of 30 years ago. Superfast computers, touchscreen tablets, the internet, a multitude of channels in HD and so much more. But one technology that has exploded into our consciousness far beyond all others, the mobile phone. Mobile phones have been around since the 80s, but since 2000 they have really taken off. 27% of adults and 47% of teenagers now own smartphones. The UK and the rest of the developing world have had to deal with this demand, not only for the materials used to manufacture the phones, but also in the building of vast networks of mobile phone masks to cope with the increasing requirement. The problem is no one knows what the long-term effects of mobile phone usage is, or what effect it will have on us now or in the future. Having extensively increased the electromagnetic fields in the atmosphere with Wi-Fi, mobile telephones, TV, and a soon-to-be in a home near you, the smart meter. Now being rolled out all over the country with the promise of slashing bills up to 15% by more effectively monitoring your utilities usage. The problem with the smart meter is they communicate with your suppliers using a wireless mobile phone technology. Some say that the energy they produce can be as much as 30 or 40,000 times the normal level of microwave radiation. You can choose when and in what manner to use your mobile phone. And if you follow the instructions on how to reduce RF energy, you'll be even safer. But the radiation exposed to you by your smart meter will be decided by the utility companies. So what are the long-term effects on this increased radiation? Are we harming life on our planet by this dependency upon wireless technology? Is it just sensationalism or is it something we should all be aware of and concerned about? Back to you guys at the studio.